Yeah. It is a sad thing with the United States where we, that is, uh, that tends to be a sort of, uh, I don't know, to be more blunt with it, it's like, sort of like a dick swinging contest where we sort of hate the idea of any nation coming close to competing with us and we sort of want to stomp that out. And that's sort of where it is with China. Um, what I do, you know, so I was wondering, like, how has um, Australia been handling, like, the Ukraine crisis? Um, are there, is there, did they pass any policies to punish the Russians? Yeah, we brought in, we brought in the same sanctions against Putin and against other government officials that was brought in by the US and the NATO countries. Um, we sent uh, weapons, we sent aid, we sent coal. For some reason, because our Prime Minister, or former Prime Minister, loves coal, as the advocate for it, he sent it to coal. Or whatever, anything he ever got there, it was fucking bought, for sure. Uh, and it's not, it's like, it's even worse the Australia involved than the US, because, you know, we're not on the same continent, we're not even in NATO. And we're getting involved in the Ukraine conflict. It's like this is not our water fire. You know, yeah. we yeah. are literally other other countries involved. Russia poses no threat. threat for sure, there's a threat from China, but not from Russia. You know, I, I can justify. I, I don't like it, but I can justify Australia getting involved in Taiwan more than I can. I could involved in Ukraine for some reason. We're sending us weapons and aid and coal and everything we can to help to help Ukraine. Uh, Zelensky at one point addressed uh, our parliament. Government of, of, of Congress, lower house has the reps, and he basically said, you know, we need your help. <laughs> Scott Morrison, and Scott Morrison, then Prime Minister, says we'll send, we'll send, we'll send guns, we'll send aid, and we'll send coal. Um, and yeah, but, yeah and for some reason, it's, it's not it's not as much money as the US has sent, obviously, but you know, with our our economy is still recovering from COVID, like a lot of the countries are, uh, more so than those other countries, because you know, of the tyranny that are here. With COVID restrictions, our economy is not going to recover for a while. National debt is now over a trillion dollars. Well over a trillion dollars, I'm pretty sure. It, it was below a trillion before COVID. At one point, they were saying, you know, we're not going to double our national debt to $2 trillion, $2 trillion at some point. Um, over COVID, before 2024, that's still possible. Not as likely, but it's still possible. So, you know, I, I don't know why we're fighting a war in Ukraine. We've got our own problems to worry about, but here we are. And yeah. that was challenging it. Uh, so we do, we, we have a, 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 there's a TV show that goes through the ABC, our ABC, not your ABC, our ABC is government run. Uh, and it goes through, uh, it's, called, it's called Q&A. So they'll get on politicians there, people who are politically involved, and they'll get like four or five of them on the show and do a roundtable discussion with questions from the audience. And the audience member asked a question about the Ukraine conflict that was critical of us getting involved. And he was literally kicked out of the, um, the room. Uh, you know, a young league member said, you know, what why are we why are we getting involved? And he kicked out because he, he gave the question the narrative. 